We're up to part 11 of our conversation with John Halliwell. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. With uh, Stephen Murphy, with Roger being on the other side of the pond, uh, any plans? Were there ever any plans for you to play with him again? Not particularly, no. Uh, with his own group, when he goes touring, uh, it, it might be nice sometimes just to go and have a, a sit-in or something because yeah. he's got a guy, well, a Canadian guy, Aaron, who's left, and I don't know what the second guy, where he's from, but he has guys that play my solos. Kind of, kind of interesting. We could probably play my solo together. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, but it, it hasn't cropped up just as yet. Did you improvise, since you improvised your solos all but one on the records, did you improvise as well when you played them again in concert or, or did the fans just want to hear them the same way? Yeah, sometimes uh, the, the logical song solo, for example, it's so ingrained in the song Yeah that I kind of do a, a version which, which is very, very much like it, like the original. And then there's also, for example, there's a solo at the beginning of um, It's Raining Again. And that's so distinctive as a kind of melody to start yeah. the, uh, the, the number that I play at least the beginning of the solo the same. Yeah. On, on other things like Bloody Well Right, it'll be a completely different. It'll be completely different. What was yeah. the, uh, one of the questions uh, we got last night was, and it's big, it's a loaded question, but what, what are you most proud of? I mean, can you just pick a few things or, or what are you most proud of? Well, if, you, if in general, I'm, in general, I'm most proud of, of the Ever Open Door album because that's something which is a culmination of, you know, many years of playing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could ask about, um, Supertramp stuff I'm most proud of you know it's been super career and I'm very proud of, of most thing of most things that we that we've done and and it, in particular things that stand out are would would possibly be you're thinking about my solos or something that there's a solo in the logical song which seems to be grab people's attention I quite like uh, my kind of lady that's that's a good one and then there's there's always Crime of the Century. Interestingly enough, uh, almost 90, 95-99% of the solos that you hear on a Supertramp album are, are completely improvised, with the one exception, and that's a solo from Crime of the Century. And there's a story there, is that we... We went into the studio and we recorded crime, that crime of the century. And at the end, there's the, the big build up and then there's a big sweeping saxophone solo. And I did, I did one and it was, it was great. It was really good. And then subsequently, we sent the, the backing tracks without the solo to a string arranger, Richard Hewson. And he put strings on. He put strings on one or two of the tracks. So he put a big string build up on Crime of the Century and we thought it was great. And, and then we, we played it back and then we turned up the saxophone solo. It didn't go, it didn't go with it at all. So Rick and I sort of constructed a solo to go with the, the group playing plus the strings. So we kind of had to sit down and, and, and think about it think about it and try and try and work out something which was not completely off the cuff but suited what was there and I, I think we did a good job in the end a thin lizzy so you played with thin lizzy well there's a connect there's a fam family connection there um we were in uh, we were in toronto uh, i think doing some gigs or whatever and an in town recording at the same time was thin lizzy now the guitarist with thin lizzy is scott gorham and still is, Scott's still around. Scott Gorham is the brother of the wife, ex-wife now, of Bob Siebenberg. Okay. Bob and Vicky, Vicky's brother, Scott. So he knew him really well. And so they asked us, they asked, I think they asked Bob to the studio one night and then they said, hey, let's get John to, let's get John down to do a, a solo. So I, I actually had, my tenor with me and, and my clarinet. I played clarinet on one tune and tenor on another tune, which was one of their 
hits, as it turned out, Dancing in the Moonlight. Yeah. And I think that was in, I think that might even have been in 75 or 77, maybe something like that. I think it was maybe 77. Going back a bit. The Ballad of a Sad Young Man, which you first heard from Keith Jarrett, right? Yeah, I did. I'm a big, big fan of Keith Jarrett. And especially his, uh, I've liked, liked him for many, many years. And especially his, what, what he calls his standards trio, yeah. which is piano bass drums. And uh, Jack DeJohnette on drums. And um, I've got a lot of albums of theirs. And that just really stood out to me that one time. And I investigated who'd written it and yeah. how, where it came from. And it comes from this kind of hip 60s musical. That, I don't think the musical did well in the end, but there's a couple of tunes from that that have done well. Uh, and I just love the, the tune. It, it's a tune that almost plays itself. But, like... Um, like this whaley whaley it, it's a tune that um, that you can you can just play it on its own without any any background like Danny Boy yeah. you know the tune Danny oh, Boy oh yeah yeah you, you hear people sing that without any accompaniment and sometimes they, they don't even need it because it, the tune just is there you know and it stands up completely on its own and so I think that that the Ballad of the Sad Young Men stands up on its own as well. It's it's a really nice number to play. Play. There's a YouTube video uh, that's probably still up of a guy singing Danny Boy in the department store, and then he has a whole bunch of his friends starting to sing the pipe stuff. Pipe. <laughs> it's, it's so fun because it's it's one of those anthemy kind of you can't like you said it does play itself. I mean. It's yeah, a, it's a, yeah. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t shirt, help support our channel. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.